Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. I'm so excited to share with you a little unboxing of a new collection by Pink Fresh Studio in collaboration with Alt New. So these two amazing companies have got together and created an absolutely beautiful collection for us to scrapbook with and make cards with and journal with and do what we do called Celebrate. Um, what a, what a lovely title for what's happening with us now. We need to find things to celebrate, find moments to celebrate and um, celebrate the connection we have with our families and our close friends um, because we know how vulnerable that can be in this crazy time. So I want to show you Celebrate. So I thought we'd start off with the papers. And as always with Pink Fresh Studio you get this beautiful title card with the paper pack. In the paper pack you get 16 double sided papers. You get two of each of in each of the collection. So you get lots of goodies and um, it's always get good to get two just in case you really fall in love with one and um, you need to have a second one of it. So here's a quick snapshot and as I always say this page here can create a layout in itself, a quick and easy grid style layout by just fussy cutting these out and um, and putting them onto a layout with a bit, bit of mixed media or the Pink Fresh Studio watercolour paints and you'll have a layout just like that by just using this cover page. So here we go into Celebrate. So first up we have this beautiful paper called Good Times and let's look at these lovely grey tone tones in these floral elements backed onto, well sitting on top of this beautiful musty pink there. Grey, white and pink are really my ultimate favourite colour combo. And then on the back of that you've got this really large stunning art piece there um, with that same musk pink with those grey tones and the white. So really beautiful. Then we have this beautiful, super sweet floral. Um, it looks like it's been a watercolour. Someone's, you know, used watercolours and painted these beautiful florals that it's been replicated into this beautiful paper. And I love these soft pinks with these different tones of pink um, in there. So there's that one, absolutely gorgeous on that white background. And on the back we have this beautiful waterfall of these beautiful watercolour vines. So that's a lovely one as well. The ideas are already flowing. Then we have this gorgeous, bold, punchy polka dot. And that has a wash of that green into the yellow, into the really light yellow there. And that's a nice, nice transition of colour. Then we have this wow of a gorgeous kind of watercolour um, gold two-tone um, watercolour droplet, mega droplet I could say. Um, but that's really lovely and you can see how um, a layout could easily come together with you know, utilising that circle, um, having those floral clusters, maybe building it around or a wonderful cut file just to help pop that off the page and you'll have a fabulous background there. So then we have this stunning rosette design, this floral design with the two-tone on the back there. So we've got the mixed media going on with some gorgeous splatters which always tick my box and we've got this light pink grid here and this is just a white background, so absolutely beautiful. For the fussy cutters out there, that might be a beautiful piece to fussy cut. And on the back of that one, we've got this beautiful watercolour wash with these gorgeous white uh, leaves going through that. As you can see, this beautiful colour palette, isn't it? It's got those beautiful um, coral and musk pink and dark pink tones with that little bit of splash of the the minty green. So there's that one. Then we've got this really gorgeous stunning large, once again it's almost an art piece but you can really see um, how this, using this piece, statement piece in your album could be really great for just maybe having a wonderful title, um, a title page that you know has a title that will indicate the pages and the moments that you're going to scrapbook on through further pages. 
um, you can do the fussy cutting and those grey tones there, they're always good for layering up as well. So there's that one, that's called This Day. And on the back, a beautiful grey, just like a wash with a white floral. Yeah, beautiful. Then we have another um, full floral piece, but this one is lovely. This one here has the florals all done in like a deep grey and then using kind of a uh, mixed media or watercolour wash there's just been those added extra elements added on there just to give that really arty feel and that's a really beautiful piece. If you can see that and that one's called Progress and then on the back you have this beautiful beautiful ombre piece there from those pinks transitioning into those peaches so an absolutely beautiful background piece um, it's really hard isn't it because you want the background but you also don't want to you want anyway that one's a tricky guy we've got two of that one how beautiful is this floral wreath I artists are so amazing to be able to create these they, this almost looks like a photograph it's the art the the artist that put this together is extremely talented. <laughs> it's gorgeous, absolutely stunning. And look at those deep green tones. You've got that transition in there for those darker colours. And I can really see a, an absolutely, maybe a stunning vintage photo, um, a special memory from your past or your mother's past or your grandmother's past. That would be an absolutely stunning piece there um, to use on a vintage layout. On the back of that one, oh my goodness, another gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm glad I've got two of this one too. You could obviously, this one, another statement piece, you could almost just put a title on there and nothing else. But I guess if we're really wanting to scrapbook it and take this to the next level, maybe some fussy cutting and add some dimension to really bring it out of the page. But that is just absolutely stunning. And now we're on to these super sweet little vases. They're almost like got that Scandinavian um, design in the middle there of each of the vases. And they are cute in those peaches with that little pop of orange there. Of course the green and that range of pinks. That is absolutely delightful. That one's called Always. And another beautiful stunning background piece. Just imagine working your layout in the centre there. All that little mixed media going on there sort of just brings your brings draws your attention into that center so an absolutely stunning piece there as well and here we are back at the beginning um, so you get once again two of each and as you can see these papers are thick and really high quality as always with pink fresh studio and yeah how I'm, I'm just blown away with these absolutely stunning papers Look at that. I think we'll leave that one right where it is so you can have a look at the other bits and bobs in this collection. This is just a limited release. This is a special thing that Old New and Pink Fresh Studio have done together for us in this time. And so they've released the paper pack, um, the ephemera, and also some stamp sets which I will show you soon. So it's just a mini collection but an absolutely stunning one. So I'll just show you on the back. There, you get lots and lots of beautiful pieces there. And now we'll just take a closer look. Even the backing card you could use. It's got that beautiful light pink with that fine white floral in the background there so you could definitely use that um, as a piece so we might lift this one up nice and high so you can see it and I'll just sit the ephemera out there so look at that beautiful floral we've got some frames frames are always good a really easy way of building layouts another frame and look at that stunning frame right there so absolutely gorgeous I've got a little journaling prompt right there. Look at this gorgeous floral frame there. Another leafy floral there. Slide those ones off there. And we have this one, a beautiful moment. 
check this out. How stunning is that? Gorgeous floral. Another floral. A gorgeous little for you. A with love. A little journaling card. Another floral. The gorgeous little vase there. A leaf cluster. A black and white floral. A couple of those. Some more leaves. How sweet is just even that little floor, um, scalloped edge right there. Be happy. Another beautiful scripty font happy. It's still going. It's a gorgeous ephemera pack. An arrow. A beautiful scripty hello. Black and white floral. Another little journaling card, some more floral, and some arrows, there, all different colours, another black and white floral, oh that's a cute little leaf cluster there, another little black greyish floral, a sweet little black and white heart and to finish off another scripty word love so as you can see look at all those beautiful ephemera pieces right there um, a really amazing pack that coordinates well with this collection and you can easily see if you picked up the paper pack and this ephemera pack you're going to have um, plenty of layouts just with those two elements right there. All right, so we might move on now to the stamp sets that came out, which is Alt New. Um, that's their baby. We know that they love stamps and coordinating dies. So this stamp is called Celebrate Us, and it's a really stunning floral, a floral that matches this collection. So we've got a layering stamp there where you can add those different tones um, of inks and it really just builds that, that flower and helps it jump off the page and it's perfect for fussy cutting um, and creating your own interpretation of a stunning floral. And with that it comes with a matching die and a word that says thankful and then here's the shadow so you can really pop that title off by punching out that word in one colour and then another colour do the background and layering them up and you'll get a really great a really great title thankful for you see look there you go see how you can see those different tones there that you can create so that is a really beautiful beautiful stamp set there's a guide and you've got your uh, use instructions and your care and storage and your layering guide there so you know how to create that beautiful floral combination so that's that one then we also have another one called celebrate today how stunning is this one it says good times you this is totally worth celebrating celebrate every little thing right now today and everyday moments you could say celebrate right now celebrate today cele celebrate every moment so you've got that beautiful celebrate as that main word but you could also use these words individually and on their own and how stunning is this floral arrangement that would be perfect for fussy cutting fussy cutting out and it comes also with a coordinating die to make that cutting super easy and on the back, once again, it's got that use and the storage and a really fabulous example of what you can do with that stamp is just to create your custom backgrounds there. So another stunning stamp set. So in this collection, we've got the papers, we've got the gorgeous ephemera pieces and those two stamp sets. And that is the Celebrate collection, uh, the uh, collaboration between Pink Fresh Studio and Alt New. So thanks guys, I hope this collection ends up in your scrappy stash and we can create beautiful layouts together. Alright, take care. Bye.